Hello boys and girls, this is our caterpillar numbers or caterpillar counting video for math for 3-30. So this is what this sheet looks like. There's a little caterpillar in the corner and there's a bunch of numbers and empty spaces. So how this one is going to work is we have been working on our numbers 1 through 100. This is going to be good practice for us starting in a random spot in those numbers and then counting on from that number. So how this will work is on the top, you can see it says fill in the given section of the hundreds chart. So you guys have seen hundreds charts before that have numbers one through 100 and they're all listed out. We have them posted around the classroom. And so what we're going to do is we get to fill out a hundreds chart. Part of it, not the whole thing. So if we look here, this is starting at the number 41. So when you hear the word 41, when I hear it, I hear 40. So that's telling me there's a four in the front and then one. So 41 is telling me that there's a four in front and then a one behind it. After 41, so if I'm counting, I go 41, 40. Two, because once we're in the 40s, the second number goes in order. So 41, 42, 43. So the next would be 43. And I'm going to go through and I'm going to fill out this whole top part. So after 43, 44, 45. 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Then I'm going to come down to the next row over here. I'm going to start the next one. So after 50 is 51. And I'm going to keep going until I filled out this whole entire top section. All right, so that's how you complete that part. The second part down here, you can use this top part to help you once it's all completed, but it's going to start you at another random number and you have to fill in the rest. So this one's starting at 45. So when I hear it, I hear 45. So I can hear that it's four and then a five. After 45 is the number 40. So I know it starts with a four, 46. So I hear 40 and then six. Then I'm going to just keep going. 40. 7, 48, 49, 50. And I'm going to do the same thing with these ones as well. So on this one, I'll start at 71, and then I'll go 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76. I'll do the same thing with starting at 54 and then starting at 57. So once you've completed this top part, you may move to the next part. And then once this part is complete, this second half will be easier to fill out because if you need some help, you can look at the chart above and see what you filled out. Make sure that you have your parents take a picture of this and send it to me in an email so that I know that you did it. All right, have fun.